previously on Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. More out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took time. It slowly took its time, hazily, like watercolor paints suspended in water. Slowly, hazily, as opposed to watercolor paints suspended in milk. Whoa, drugs! There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before. But I don't know where. I can hear voices, but I don't know where. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently, he's been accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I dully, I'm dully staring out the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. So I'm not going to listen. And therefore, I cut off my ears like Van Gogh. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears, and so I cut them off like Van Gogh. Huh, don't you know? And know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I wanted to cover my ears. I wanted to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. My bedroom. Wow, I never knew that was possible. Uh, that way was possible. So he's the same too. Obviously, I mean he doesn't have any special talents that Hope's Peak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. So wait, are we supposed to be the ultimate lucky student? Does that mean Nagito is the ultimate something else? Well, admiring the academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just, just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this, anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? Why am I? Where am I? When am I? What am I? Oh, this. Hey! Hey! Did you know that talking about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So I'm gonna tell you my story of a person. Uh, I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to write a fake love letter to myself so I could break about it to others. I was bragging about it to my friend, but unfortunately, all I had was an envelope. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real binder. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written with special ink. Only those chosen by God could see it. When I said that, he was all like, that love letter is burning with passion. However, things started looking bad at, the po at that point. Why didn't you just write a letter before you started bragging to people that you got a fake love letter? That just, this, your plan sucks. Your idea is bad and you should feel bad. The other people around us started praising him because they thought he could really, he really could see the letter. That's when he started hogging everyone's attention and as the divine messenger of God. And eventually he was worshipped by society. Now he uses his followers to sell shady vases for a quick buck. Thanks to my big mouth, he became a multi-millionaire. How regretful. What an epic fail. That was my story of personal failure. What do you think of it? Is the ice broken? No, I, uh, I actually froze it. Even, uh, I froze it even more because the ice was so... Your story was so bad. Since you listened to me, you want to buy this face? <laughs> it's in pretty high demand, but I'll give you a deal on it because I like you so much. Uh, no thanks. The vase is for people who buy flowers, and I don't own flowers. Uh, it's morning, huh? But for some reason, my buddy's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. Oh, do we have the fever? Oh, what the fuck? This again? I, I can't believe Wait, it. aren't I in my cabin? <laughs> Bro, I got no pupils Nikon anymore. Again? H hurry up and move! I, I, I can't breathe. Sucks. Mm, you stopped moving. I want to know what a trial would be like if we actually. Mm, now I can finally relax. She can actually this. die from this. It's like, so, uh, who do we think killed Nagito? Well. We found Mekon at the site of the murder, which was his cottage. Oh, okay, so... Uh, 
how what was the murder weapon? Seemed he was suffocated via titties. Holy shit, titties! Wait, huh? Yeah! Cyanosis again? What is cyanosis? Hajime's oh, gone limp! Oh, please get a hold of yourself! <laughs> he ring he ring gained. He regained consciousness? Oh, I'm so glad! I thought you died from suffocation via my titties! <laughs> Sorry. Mikiano, why are you why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it. I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. Wasn't that Chiaki's thing? Falling asleep? Uh, what kind of accident is that? What? The good news, see Nagi uh, no, 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 no. Nagino's condition has stabilized. R really? And I rushed over to let you guys know, but Fuyuhiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, my lock is still broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Yes! Anyway, please hurry. Uh, please hurry over, Nagito could probably be saved. Uh, do we have to? Yeah, got it. I quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Oh well, best not to think about it. Uh, okay. Um, Nagito is in his patient room. Please hurry and see how he's doing. Oh. All alrighty. Nagito, this one, this, this room. Oh shit. Oh, he's awake. There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in his bed. I mean, he's standing, but sure. Nagito, can you hear me? How'd you make him just came by to see how you were doing? <laughs> the twin Ibukis are singing. I see. Ibuki must have been a twin duo. <gasps> the Veronicas. The Veronicas? Is he supposed to be cured? Well... Hey. It's not like he's completely cured. He's just able to recover from his critical condition. <laughs> they were utilizing their characteristic as twins, and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually 17 people on this island. <laughs> the Veronicas. That's the answer. Who's Veronica? Uh, after seeing this, it might have been better if he stayed quiet for just a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, oh, but I'm so glad, I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness. Oh, I'm so glad! <laughs> I, I feel dizzy. Somehow, everything is spinning around me. Sh shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted by uh, from nursing without any sleep, right? Um... And if you insist, I'll use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, then, even though it's morning, good night. Mikan wobbled around a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to come wake me up. Man, wake me up inside. Can't wake up. All alone with ha er, all alone with Hajime, huh? I can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours <sighs> and that crappy face. Yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Damn, alright. Bitch. Good morning, Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. I should wait at the lobby for the transmission. I like how we haven't ever checked on Akane or, or Ibuki. Like, one of them could be dead for all I know. Huh? The surveillance camera unit's light is blinking. But that's weird, it's not transmission time yet. Um, okay. The light is breaking. It received some sort of transmission from the other side, right? That's pretty early. We haven't even received the Monokuma announcement yet. Might be something urgent, though. That's why, instead of answering it, I'm just standing here talking and thinking to myself. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Fuyuhiko gets here. Alright, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach in my hand and press the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. What the fuck? Is that a... A stick? A chair? Huh? Upon first glance, I immediately knew it wasn't a normal video. Oh, that's a noose. A slowly swaying dim light is shining on the black curtains. I feel like some sort of ritual was about to begin. 
Oh, and I guess that's a step ladder. Is this light from a candle? But what was creepiest of all was the rope hanging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it, there was a step ladder. What are you doing, step ladder? It was like a gallows. What's a gallows? Well, then that was terrifying. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on at the music venue? And that's when it happened. Oh, who's that? The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine as if someone was dragging ice on me. And someone was dragging their balls on me, see? Dra dragging balls, see? A uh, person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head. Ooh, weed. Ugh, can I get some of that? What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving. I began climbing the stepladder, and I just stood here watching, not running over to the music venue where I knew this was going on, to try and stop it. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it. I had all the time in the world to go over to the music venue to stop it. They reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? And at that moment... Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black, probably because of the candle. The only source of light had gone out. Hey, hey! No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. And so I still just stood here instead of leaving to go to the music venue where I know all this shit is going. Who am I kidding? You know, Hajime's a dumbass. What is this? What's going on? What in the world is going on? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. I might still be able to make it. I need to hurry over to the music venue. But first, I'm going to repeat the same sentence over and over 20 times. I rushed into the hospital and ran over to the music venue with her, where the transmission was made. Oh, it's morning. Ahem! Good. Just now, that was the morning Monokuma announcement. Fuyuhiko should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time to wait for him. I gotta get to the music venue. That's why I'm gonna still continue to sit here. Where's the music? It's this way, right? I'm going the right way? Yeah, here we go. I, like, run all around the island while this person is hanging themselves. Please, please let me make it! I rushed into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Oh, wait, no, here it is. It's in the dictionary. Right here. Prayer. To, uh... To pray. <laughs> Adjective. or er, verb. Noun? Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. It's Sayaki. S say, say, Sayaka. Sayaka from, uh, 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 uh what's that game called? Uh, uh, <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. I was too late. What, what the hell is this? Who is that? It's either gonna be Ibuki, Akane, or Nagito. I don't think it's Akane? doesn't look like a funny. I 100% doubt it's Nagito. They wouldn't do that because Nagito is like the weird villain guy and also we just saw him. In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot in air inside the music venue? No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Uh, it's a body discovery announcement. That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody's noticed yet. Th then I need to hurry and let the others know. From here, the motel is close by. There should be a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. Uh, I should hurry. I mean, you could, like, try to resuscitate them. Like, they're if you leave them just hanging there, there's no way they're gonna... They're gonna die. Like, at least check... See if they're, there's a chance that they can be saved? I don't know. What do I look like, a doctor? I ran to the motel as fast as I could, trying to trying desperately not to trip over my feet, or my own feet. Hey, somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived at the motel, I started shouting for help as soon as I could. You fiend. I was wondering who was making such infernal racket. So, it was you. Gundam, something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me. Do you s intend to spray the pith uh, the, patho uh, the path pathogenic bacteria so you can take us all down with you? I won't let you! I won't let you. 
If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. Um... What happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. A murder is. It's worse than, it's worse than trouble. There's a body. Hmm? Huh? Didn't you hear me? A body was found. C could it be? But the body? Yeah. Yeah. I renounce could you. Could it be? Do you spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us Hold all? Hold it. Hold on. Hajime, is that true? Uh, of course it is. Isn't it obvious? No, nah, I'm just joking. Seemed. Happy April Fools. It's October. Damn it. Chiaki, er, technically it's November. Chiaki, have you seen, er, Chi, 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 Chiaki. Have you seen Nagigo's con, you have seen Nagigo's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still. But there's no way we shouldn't check it out. Because if Hachime is telling the truth, <gasps> that means it happened again, right? That's... A, a canyon? Hey. If that's true, we need to check it Fine. out. If that's the case, I will not stop you. Leave this Leave to this me. place to me, and you fiends go on ahead. Well, we need three people. <laughs> no need to worry. I will catch up with you so e with you easily. Um... Yeah. That sounds like famous last words. Chiaki, can you go? Yeah. No. I don't want to. That's why I said that we should go and check, right? Because I didn't want to go? Yeah, it's better if we hurry, right? Thanks for stating the obvious there, uh, Hajime. Hajime! Oh, Hajime! Mikan, why are you here? Uh, Perfect timing! Uh, Please help us, Hajime! Help us? Hey, hey! Oh, ah, uh, uh, Hajime. Someone's coming from over there. Huh? Hajime and Chiaki, what are you guys doing in here? Fuhiko, why are you here too? No shit! Is it obvious? I'm looking for a buki! Oh, okay, so that means it's a buki. Aw, oh, man, fuck. I like a buki. Why can't we get rid of some of the ones I suck? Like, um... Um, what's his face? Kazuichi. I don't like him. He sucks. Looking for a buki? Well, I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I did that. And a buki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? Perhaps. So what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Mm, hurry where? To the music venue. Don't ask. Just follow me. Huh? Music venue. I said don't ask. <laughs> Shit. Is Ibuki going to be there? Probably. Bad. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, let's check my bunny. I know someone's dead, and it's most likely Ibuki, but. Ah, he's fine. Oh, right, he's a bitch. I forgot about that. There we go. Damn it! My wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. I have horrible lungs. Is the buki inside here? Yeah, probably. The only way to know is to go inside and confirm that hanging body is really a buki. Let's go. I clench my teeth and reach my hand toward the door. Watch it be like Nekomaru. Huh? Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a minute ago. For now. Then why don't we try another entrance? Nope. This is the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window we can go through. But why is it locked? Hmm. I don't know. I don't understand it myself, but... Let's go! We won't open. The only thing we can do is force our way through. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if it's, that's going to be possible. Of the four of us, two of us are girls, you know? And... Why does that make a difference? It's got nothing to do with you! It doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try! Damn right! Let's go! We'll all take charge of the- uh, We're all charged at the same time! Ready, set, <laughs> go! And we all broke our arms. At Fuyuhiko's signal, we charged into the door at full force! Oh, the door moved! <laughs> Maybe it'll open easily after all. Yep. Yeah, even with two girls here, it shouldn't really matter that there are two girls here, should it? 
it's almost like it doesn't make a difference. Let's go! Alright, one more time. If we hear a signal, we charge into the door one more time. One more time. Hey, we're gonna celebrate it. Oh yeah, alright, someone is dead now. It was like a live performance that just ended. That moment of silence just before the audience breaks out in thunderous applause. And a few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> Oh shit. <gasps> oh fuck. There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. A suspended body belonging to Hyoko. Oh shit, it's a dual murder. Oh my oh fuck. Oh, I was not expecting that. Man, okay. Hyoko? I liked Hyoko. She was really mean, but I had a soft spot for her. I did feel bad because she was like, oh, Mikan was my best friend and she died. Oh, but I guess she can be with me. Or, not Mikan. She hated Mikan. Uh, I guess she can be with me here now. Damn it. I could have been Kazuichi. Kazuichi sucks. He's just Terror Terror 2.0. A body has been discovered! Nah, you're wrong. It's two bodies. Now then, after a certain Multiple amount of time plural. has passed... Yeah, I know how this works, dude. I've done this, like, what? Uh, how many people died last game? An amount of times. A decent amount. A At least five. Been now then. Oh. What? They played two announcements? Two body discovery announcements in a row, if that means the hanged body with a hemp bag on his head. Hyoko's suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. That, that's how that works. What is this? What? Hyoko and who, who the hell is that other one wearing the hemp bag? Could it be? Could it be two victims? No, it's it's clearly 24. But, but, when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hyoko's body. I only saw the hanged body over there. And I was like, oh, well, that's normal. So then I left. Not even 10 minutes passed, but still, why? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> impossible. Impossible, impossible, impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Have you not been paying attention to anything that's been going on? Shut the hell up! Shut up, idiot! This is just... For now, we should lower that person wearing the hemp bag to the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes! Yeah, yes! Aww. Also calling them an it. Uh, but what about the preserving the scene of the crime? Well, I mean, we can't... Isn't part of the investigation to investigate who's dead? Damn it! Who fucking cares about that? Um... There's a control panel for the baton lighting on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. That one! Fuyuhiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed a button on the control panel. Rawr. Rawr. With a motorized sound like a growl of a starving beast, the baton lighting, the, 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 the bat lighting slowly descended. When it descended enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now, I'm going to take off the hemp bag, okay? Okay, which one is it? <gasps> it's a bookie! No, oh, I like the bookie. Why could it have been Kazuichi? Even though I expected it, I still didn't want it to confront that reality. Under the hemp bag, there is no denying that the face I saw belonged to Ibuki. Damn it! D damn it! <laughs> it's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. <laughs> you, you're wrong. It's not your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, your one at fault is. What's the matter? Gee, it feels like someone died in here or something. No, actually, two people died. Oh, wait, shit. Hey! So we finally healed up, the root of all evil. What the heck? I'm 
dare you call your big brother the root of all evil? I went to the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? Ah! Oh. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? That is Ibuki impossible. Kyoko. What? So two people have been killed. What? Whoa, there. That's not all. I've also summoned the others who were at the hospital. The others. This is troubling. Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. D damn it! I can't believe they did such a horrible thing. Nagito, Akane, are you okay? Huh? Huh? Of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? No way! Are you talking about the despair disease? Gee, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey! Uh, oh, well. Yeah, because I got bored. That's... For that silly reason. <laughs> now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep that motive around anymore. Yeah, the despair disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What'd you say? Uh, what the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Phew! Ah, who cares about the itty-bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. Speaking of itty-bitty, do you want to join my itty-bitty titty committee? Yahoo! So let's go back to our main topic and proceed as usual. It's the Monokuma! Yeah, okay, I know what See it is. See ya later! I'll be waiting at the class trial. Do your best to investigate. This cannot be... Again, we have to do this again? Silence. We have no choice. The, like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, let me tell you. This. Then we cannot let this be. <laughs> I'm gonna just say that uh, Ibuki's could have been prevented if Hajime wasn't such a dumbass and s stay stood there watching everything. Damn it! Oh shit! I didn't even read what she said. Um, <laughs> why do we have to do this? Thinking like that won't solve anything. We have to do this. Damn it! Someone get me my pudding. If we don't. Do anything, we'll all be executed. <laughs> I mean, I've lived a good 25 billion years, but you know. <laughs> what do you Abandon your over dependence and complaints this instant. Those have no place in this world. But what about Nekumaru? What's going to happen to him? Is he not going to. Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> oh, you're still so sad? Ne Nekumaru. Huh? That's weird. That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> Looks like lingering effects uh, or after effects of the despair disease. It's nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, seems I have it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you went the lie disease, your after effects could be lies, maybe. Leave it to me! Please leave Nekomaru to me. Everyone must focus on investigating, so I must do my very best. Alrighty! Alrighty! I will definitely bring back Nekomaru and win everyone's trust! Um... It seems we should leave Nekomaru to Monami. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? Damn it. I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um... Um, it's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right! I'll leave that to you. Um... Then, let's get started, so we can end this nightmare for good. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for those two's sake, we need to find the truth, and then we need to end this nightmare once and for all! Wow, we are like dropping like flies. How many of us are left? Huh? Like, I haven't put up with this for a while. Hey! But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so smothering. <laughs> Ugh, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. Pussy. And so, Kazuichi left the music venue after a cloud of grumbling complaints. But it really is hot. Hey guys, is it hot in here, or is it just me? No, no one was ever thinking it was you. Damn it. In fact, it's swelteringly hot. Why is it this hot? No, before that, I need to check the Monokuma file first. There are two victims this time, Ibuki Miyota and Hyoko Sayonji. 
Ibuki Miyoto's cause of death was a crushed windpipe as a result of choking. There are no other external injuries. Hyoko Sayonji's cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp-edged tool. It appears her death was instant. Well, that's good. I mean, it's not good that she's dead, but it's it's good that she didn't suffer. <laughs> that's... That, <laughs> yeah, that's that's the point I'm trying to make. What, what the... Is this it? I already knew the cause of death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Hmm. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Huh? I mean, the more people you kill... Clue? The more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So... So, I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Mm. Or was a reason... Was there a reason they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... I'll definitely find out. I'll definitely find the truth behind this case. I think... That's what I think. Seriously, I'd really prefer if she had a more confident surrounding catchphrase. Sur sur sounding, not surrounding. Alright. Broken machine. The shattered remains of a machine are spread over the floor. I see. I see. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. This too must As be Uichi the put it in the music venue for communication purposes. Hmm, why is it destroyed like this? Um... Perhaps criminal psychology is at play here? What do you mean? Well... Even if they know they are not being recorded, this, there is no way the killer could, would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. There's, hold on. That's why they destroyed the camera. Seems plausible enough. They'd hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera? And that's why the killer destroyed this? Then, what was that thing I saw? Okay, but there's a camera right over here. <laughs> like, like, alright. Um. Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. Okay. It's a hemp bag. Ibuki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have a hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? That hemp bag. Upon further inspection, there's a Monomi decal on the fabric. It looks like this isn't just a normal bag. Okay. It's a rope that was tied to the bat and lighting in the ceiling. Hibuki, or Hibuki. Ibuki hanged herself with this rope and died. Yeah, no shit. Hmm. Um, I'd be more shocked if you said Hibuki, Hibuki, uh, used this rope to hang herself and lived. From what I can tell, looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact that this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means it was attained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means that means anybody could have attained this rope, and it means it it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. thing. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Mikan, do you have a moment? No! Fuck off! I'm busy! Um... Uh, what's happening? Um... There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt a boogie's cause of death was being hanged by this rope, right? Well... Yeah. She had no other in external injuries, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. Gee, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to, other than being a useless piece of shit. Again, why were we so concerned with his well-being earlier? Candle? There's a massive candle positioned near the front of this stage. The dull light in the video must have been coming from this candle. A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but it also might be perfect for my butthole! 
<laughs> they did they didn't need to bother using a candle. They could have just used the normal stage lighting. Candle. Okay. So what are you doing, step ladder? Step ladder is tipped over on its side. This must be the step ladder that Ibuki used in the video I saw, the one where I didn't do anything. Ah! Ah! Isn't that a blood stain? See? Look, there's blood around the left side of the step ladder. Um. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's blood. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the step ladder. What does it mean? Step ladder. Okay. There's a black curtain hanging from the side of the uh, from the far side of the stage. This curtain is not wide enough. It can't reach from one end of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a full-length curtain. The curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's a, it's strange that it didn't doesn't fit properly. Hmm. It was probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See, the black, the back of the the, the, the the back of the curtain is taped for temporary use, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring the curtain from the supermarket? So they went this far. This is probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Mm. Who knows? I mean, the killer knows, but. Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easy. I come easy. Oh, wait. That's sad. Curtain. Okay, uh, is there anything else before I look at the bodies? Yeah, there's two things. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Alright, I should mess around with it a little, like so. It's running as a heater, over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. Now I know why it's so damn hot. I better turn off the heat for now. That should cool things off a little. Heat. <laughs> There's a control panel on the wing of the stage. Seems you can use this control panel to raise and lower the bat and lighting on the ceiling. In fact, we used this to lower Buki's hang body literally like five minutes ago. Speaking of the lighting, the music or the video of the music venue I saw. It had a dimmed candlelight ambience to it, and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why didn't they use this lighting? Was there some reason they that would have con inconvenienced them? Uh, so you have a I peer. see. So you noticed too, fiend. Huh? Noticed? So you notice. Oh, so you didn't notice. Hmm, those are the eyes. Uh, are those eyes just little glass balls? Ham <laughs> balls! <laughs> You're funny, Gundam. Oh my goodness. Take a look at a book. <laughs> at the baton lighting above your head. Have you not noticed that aberrant item? Look at the baton lighting. You mean that? There's something that looks like black paper stuck to the bat and lighting. <laughs> so you finally noticed. But I really can't see it from here. I should lower the bat and lighting one more time and... I can see it! There is no need. I have Go, eyes. Go, my four dark devas yes. of destruction! Yes, use them. Make them your little, like, your fucking, uh, uh, G-Force. Remember that movie? It's like, really don't. I don't even remember what happens in that movie. I know they're guinea pigs and they're agents, and that's all I know. Go, Mirage, Golden Hawk, Jumpy! Now is the time for you to take flight! Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark devas of destruction! A hamster launched itself from Gunnab's hand and ran up to the bat and lighting on the ceiling in a flash! It was the flash! I hope it's not the Ezra Miller one! Choo choo! Oh my goodness, it's so cute! It started running around this, uh, the stuck slip of paper in rapid circles. And then the paper fluttered downward and was deftly caught by Gundam. <laughs> Did you see that? The old, the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. Wow! Wow, this is amazing. 
I've never seen a hamster do tricks. How pitiful. They're my fork, dark devas of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. I mean, that would make sense. If I had an opportunity to change my form, I would want to be a hamster. So what's with that paper? Fine. Hmm, seems to be some kind of THICK paper. Though it does not have any special spell scribed into it. That was close. It appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt this is some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck to stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, it's too unnatural. Is it? it doesn't seem unnatural at all. Scrub paper. Um. Okay. Boogie. What do you have to say? Oh, right. The boogie's buddy lay it up the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm. What's this on a bookie's feet? I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. Yeah, the, it's blood. Or, like, Pepto-Bismol, or some other pink liquid. It's blood, right? Um, better lick it to make sure. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that's blood. What the fuck, Hajime? What? I'm doing my job! But, there shouldn't be any external injuries on a boogie, if that's the case. This blood belongs to someone else. Blood. Damn right. Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a sec? No. You already discovered the body before you met up with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was a boot because of the handbag, though. Well, my thought is, it was a self-report. You did it. No, you got me. I'm going to be ejected like it among us. But, <laughs> uh, uh, where the f uh, but I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from that rope, and also because I stood there watching like... a video stream of her hanging herself without actually doing anything about it. Which means Ibuki must have died before Hyoko was tied up. Well, wow. And that helps. There's no time of death written on the Monokuma file this time. So, I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, their estimated time of death wasn't written in the Monokuma file this time. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, shit. But uh, I should know when Ibuki died, because I personally saw it. You know, because I didn't do anything to stop it. Even though I definitely could have. Because I'm a fucking idiot. In that video, Ibuki was climbing the stepladder on her own, so right after that... Wait, hold on. Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after. Does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Gyoko's death afterward. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Uh, okay. Hyoko's oh. body is suspended against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it! Who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Hyoki's Hyoki? Hyoko's kimono like this? What do you mean? It looks fine. Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied up in the front. Oh. Did the killer do this too? But when did the killer kill Hyoko? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body here. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? I don't know! Even if it is possible, whoever did this would have na had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Hey! Ah, uh, Hajime, do you have a minute? No. Don't talk to me. No, you're in the way. Hey, we finally said it. Now, now. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help. Actually. If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. Gross. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. 
Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want to search inside Hyoko's kimono. Huh? Yeah, that rhymed. Hyoko's kimono. <laughs> uh huh, that's exactly it. Why? Well, it would have been a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now. Uh, it still seems morally ambiguous, dude. But I guess you don't really care about morals. Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? <laughs> F fine. If you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey! Hey, Akane! Yo! Yo, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. Looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kimono. So, can you feel around for that? What? Eh? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. How about you go help all of us and fuck off? Now then. <sighs> Let's see. Can I reach through the duct tape binding Yoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono? That's weird. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Oh wait, hold on. Yo! Oh, it's a key. There's something. Is this what you were looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. Looks different than the keys to the cottage. So this may be the key to her own motel room. The key to her own motel room, huh? But... If her key was so deep inside her kimono, That'd be hard to that'd be hard to remove, and it's very unlikely that the killer tampered with the tampered, tampered with this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it more toward the front of her kimono, so we would notice it easier. Which means we can conclude this is something Kyoko had had with her all along. Okay. Hey. What was the point of that? Uh, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything. But, you looked like you were curious about the condition of Hyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating, you dumb fuck. Hmm. It's true. There are several mysteries regarding her body. Well... Well, just hear me out for a second. Wait. No. Out of all of those mysteries, what I think is the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped up her body with that duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Kyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? <laughs> I don't really know if that was their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone after her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anyone faint. Well, maybe not any everyone, like this psycho over here. Okay. Um, how do I leave? Yeah, but isn't there stuff, like... Outside of the venue? Oh, right, I haven't talked to Shiaki. With her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face, Shiaki was silently staring at the stage floor. She looked adorable. Did something drop on the floor there? Mm -hmm. Nothing dropped, it's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey! See? Take a close look at the floor. I oh, see? it is. This is like blood. If you look closely. You're right, there's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, this isn't something. Is that a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Kyoko's neck was slashed not far from here. But still. Rather. Oh, shit. Rather, what's strange is, why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it? Hide it, go so... seek it! If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the bloodstain, as long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a bloodstain. So, what was the killer trying to hide? Smudge. Okay. Now we can look over... Is it just people to talk to? Storage room? There's a door that says staff only. Looks like it, the inside is a storage room. Might as well investigate in here too. Oh look! A gummy on the ground! That means Hyoko's the murderer! Oh, right. Oh great, he's in here. There's carpeting, wallpaper, and paint on the shelf. It's probably used for stage directions. Hmm? 
this thick black paper that's folded up on the, that's folded up on the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. There are a lot of stickers pasted all over the front side of this wallpaper. And the edge of this wallpaper is wallpaper. It looks like a little toy. What does this mean? It's exactly the same thing as what was tied to the the lighting. Wow, that took me a whole five seconds to figure out. Oh, I accidentally just clicked the same thing. Uh, okay, what else is in there? Sticker! There's a lot of stickers with the Venus logo placed here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. Huh? Compared to last time, it feels like there are less stickers than before. Am I overthinking this? Yeah, it's because they're on the wallpaper. <laughs> I don't know why they're on their wallpaper, but they are. You can see your whole body with this huge full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to check how you look. Oh. A lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but they're also instruments. Oh. Alright. Nagito, did you come in here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand guard here? Hey. So how about it? Did you find any clues? The tipped over step ladder or the tipped over step ladder on the stage. The duct tape binding Yoko. That probably all came from this storage room. There must be other things from this storage room that they've used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just doing going to be the on the killer's side, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of hope. That's all there is to it. But... That's the main reason why this case is really special. What? Eh. Man. But... I can't say for certain, though. I'll never tell. <laughs> what is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime. I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can s explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to give you some more useful information, and none of your information is ever useful. Really? You might end up confusing us all again, instead. You don't want the truth. Or you don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. How mean. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well, for the sake of everyone's- er... Oh well, for the sake of everyone's hope. I gladly become the enemy, and I won't even mind when I die. <sighs> That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Regardless, I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? Probably like the restaurant or something. <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. Oh. What does that have to do with guts? After he said that, Nagito was out of my sight! Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? I guess that's everything important in this storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. I mean, we're technically still in the music venue, which we're in a different room. If I go to the bathroom, that doesn't mean I have left my house. Uh, alright, let's talk to some people. Mikan! Uh, if only I'd known this sooner, a bookie might have been saved! Now, if only we didn't stand around watching this stupid video and instead rushed over here to try and save her, she could have been saved. How'd you mean an idiot? Hey, when did you realize Buki was missing? Uh, after leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on-call room and that's when it came to me. That I should check on how everyone in the hospital is doing one more time before I go to sleep. <laughs> and, and that... And so I went to the patient's room and noticed that Buki was gone. So... I, I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. <laughs> and then... I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. 
Who are you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. And that ends a long story. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's not like I doubt you or anything. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way I doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went to the on-call room. <laughs> and that's when Ibuki was missing. Which means that when you went to the on-call room, I took Ibuki and killed her, and then I killed Yoga. Wait, shit, no, I just... Fuck. <laughs> that's right! We were together until just a little morning before, just a little before the morning on a core announcement. Yeah, you are suffocating me with your boobs. So I don't tell you. I'm telling the truth. Um. Um. This is all right. So I continue with my eye tossing. Did I read the wrong person? No, no, I did. If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? Me gone. So like good. It has happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. How cruel! This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Hyoko loved. Uh, Hyoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. Uh. And now those two are no longer here. <laughs> Such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. It's not like two of your friends just died. Two of our friends were killed. It's all the more reason we can't just leave this alone, right? So just as I we thought. We must do this then, for the sake of the two people who have fallen. Hey, are you okay? Are you still not feeling well? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, I don't really get it, but when I think about Nekomaru, it's like my knees start shaking. That's weird. That's weird. There's no way. I've got a, I've got that kind of weakness. It'd probably go away if I battled some, a strong dude, but Nekomaru's not here. Nekomaru will definitely come back. Y you're right. Okay, do you have anything important Damn to say? Damn right. Hey, Hajime, look at this. Eh, huh, what? Huh? Look what's in front of the door. Is this a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. What happened to it? Like... Something like this is in front of the door. <laughs> you think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Hey! Remember when we came to the music venue? If it won't open, the only thing we could do is force our way through. Hmm, I wonder if that's possible of the four of us. Two of us are girls, you know? Doesn't matter if you can do it or not. We have to try! Let's go! We'll all charge at the same time! Ready, set! Go! And he farted. If we he can signal, we all charge into the door at full force. Yo bam! The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. How do you <laughs> forget that? I'm supposed to be the old one here. Uh, but when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Ah! I get it. The door is designed to be pushed open. And this is the shape of the handle. If it's, if a stick was used to bar the door here, huh. well, don't you think it would be it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? <laughs> the broken drumstick on the floor is in front of the door should be proof of that. Then, how is the cable cable? How is the killer able to get out? Huh? Huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from the inside, the killer wouldn't be able to escape outside. Like... Maybe... The killer was inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. I get it. You know, don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> if that's the case, there might be evidence that it's around here, of that around here somewhere. Damn it. Alright, I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let that killer get away with this. The killer is still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue, huh? Like he said, that might be possible, I but... listen to the whole story. Hi. Alright. I heard what you were two... I heard what you two were discussing. Chiaki, that was a kind of cool entrance. <laughs> oh, how do you mean? Two people are dead. Well? Besides the broken... The broken... Besides the broken drumstick, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look, there's a weird glob where the right and left door touch, see? 
Gross. You're right, what is this? It looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... Eh, <laughs> rubber butt. As she said, Chiaki bent down, scraped out the semi-transparent glob with her finger. Mm. Ah! Mm. Why are you putting it in your mouth? Oh, it's tasty. Mm. That's adorable. <laughs> and it smells like workshop chemicals. Or, ah, it smells like workshop chemicals. Workshop? And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. Why are you still eating it? <laughs> For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this... It might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly to the in the gaps of the floor. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bless you? Just what I thought, it tastes nasty. Chucky spat the glob out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this some kind of clue, right? Why did she put it in her mouth? Couldn't she just have, like, rolled it around in her fingers or some shit? To get the chewiness, I guess? Alright, with this, we might be close to finish uh, investigating in the music venue. I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure t I get those autopsy results from her. Uh, okay. What about it, Mikan? Or how about it, Mikan? Have you found anything by now? Ah! Uh, to tell you the truth, this was very exclusive. You got it wrong! But it's not my fault. This music venue is too hot. Because of the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Because of the heat? Is that possible? No! Oh, okay. <laughs> if a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see, that might have been the killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the, the heater to make the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. But... <laughs> Even if this attack is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree, as long as I saw it, it should be clear that the murder- that the order- the murders occurred. Er, as long as I saw it, it should be clear what the or- what er- but the- what order the murders occurred. First the Poofy, then Hiyoko. Well, in that case, it probably wasn't it. It's probably the other way around. As long as this is an imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the orders of the murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? Huh? You don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killings. It's so common in detective novels, mangas, and video games that you should get, that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killing order and then the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? Good instincts. The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Hmm. The girl was an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me. If this is really an imitation of that movie, then is it possible that one more person might have been killed? This too must be the will of causality. It's certainly conceivable. If the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Ho hold on a sec. What are you talking about? An imitation murder? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> you guys worry that there's. that there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries. Things wouldn't. would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm a real cautious fella, so I prepared a for the perfect countermeasure. Hmm. On this cooling school trip, the same blackhead can only kill a maximum of two people. And I'm only bringing this up now. Huh? You mean you've added another rule? Yep. Well, if killing people at, at everyone at once is okay, the blackhead would be able to secure an easy victory, right? Yeah. 
this newer will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um. If it is a maximum of two people, then, uh, there will not be any more killings? Um. Since you're here anyway, can I ask you one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. Hmm. Ah, I see, I expect you. I suspected of you. You're very strict about games. Perhaps. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think of someone think someone would do this. If the two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? <laughs> so like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoka were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on the majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yep. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about our case... What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two? Or if four incidents overlap one another? Silence! Shut up! <laughs> it's okay, I'll make an extra... I'm like extra sure, but something like that never happens. Hey. Meaning two killers can't exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. Ah! I don't like All this. All right, fine, fine, that's right. There's always one killer at every given time. At any given time. How fucking convenient. Even if they had been an, had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who the mastermind is. This is kind of depressing. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hit. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. You have a cave? <laughs> I see, this, so there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little. Yep. Yep, that makes things a little bit easier. Fine. Plus, if the same killers can kill a maximum of two people... Taste your powerlessness! Okay. It means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough! You guys keep saying that and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? I already explained it. Pay attention. Oh, uh, could it be? You haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously, seen what? The movie. So... Like I said, that movie. Oh my! When we first explored the silent, Monokumo was passing out invitation tickets. Then the invitation is... Good instinct. Of course. It's an imitation of that movie. Well... Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie, as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see Nagito mentioned something about that. That can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? I got your feelings. <laughs> you should come by later too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? Well, obviously the movie theater. You... I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch that movie before the class trial starts. It looks like I need to do that. Um... Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um... Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Chiaki? Where do you intend to go next, Chiaki? Hmm. Probably the hospital for sure. The first, the first victim, Abuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go there for some time. She's right. It might be too good. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital too. There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Ibuki's death, I should try going over to the motel. There's still a lot of things I can do before the class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. Okay. <sighs> okay. 
let's go to the hospital, I guess. Or whatever is the closest thing. The hospital. The hospital is the closest thing. Hello, Kazuichi. Hey, you prepared that surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey! Yeah, so... I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like I'm suspicious or anything. Hmm, that sounds pretty suspicious. Didn't you get these from, get this from the shady looking alley that, where all those machines were lined up? Right! Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units... Would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from those gamers too? Man... Nah, that's impossible. Originally, a surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video of that was filmed with a hospital camera can only be viewed on the hospital monitor. The video that was filmed with the music venue camera can only be filmed on the music can only be seen on the music venue monitor. Hey! But if I left it like that, we wouldn't have been able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to give you the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. Ver 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 and vice versa. However, each surveillance camera unit manages its broadcast basic based on a specific number. So even if you bring the same model camera or monitor, you won't be able to interfere with the signal. Meaning, even if another surveillance camera exists, it might be impossible to broadcast with it. Huh? However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased the wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't have been able to use it. Y you're right. You did work on that. I know. I said that. Idiot. Alright. I should investigate the lobby for- oh. The surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music dis venue's surveillance camera unit is destroyed, it's impossible to broadcast with this. Hajime! Hey Hajime, there's something I wanted to ask you. You first discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue, right? But, why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with his camera? That's right! Oh, I also wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey! Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. And I didn't think to do anything about it. It showed this music it showed the music venue stage. There was a black curtain hanging like a sh like there is now. But the whole display was pretty dark because they were using the candlelight. There was rope hanging from the ceiling, and beneath that there was a stepladder on the door. Or on the floor. And right away A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on the head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know that must have been Ibuki. You know, because that's the one who was hanged. She walked right straight to the stepladder, and without any hesitation, she climbed that stepladder on her own free will, and then she grabbed the rope and... That's all I saw. The candlelight being used must have been snuffed out or something, because the screen went flat, went dark all of a sudden, and it wasn't anything... It wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man... Well, if the candlelight goes out, then not obviously nothing will show up. Mod's family's cameras have infrared functions, so things can still show up even in the dark. What? I read it wrong. I guess not. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really old model. Ah, uh, uh, hold on. Well? At the time, you said you didn't go. You didn't know the person wearing the hemp bag was Buki, right? Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her, but you saw she was trying to hang herself. So you rushed over to the music venue to try to stop her. No, I actually did the opposite. I stood there and watched like an idiot. But I didn't make it in time. On the account that I stood there and watched her like an idiot. Hey. Still, she climbed the stepladder on her own. Does that mean she committed suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide? I mean, I would be more confused as how she was able to see what she was doing with a bag over her head. What do you think, Chiaki? Mm. There's no doubt Ibuki climbed the stepladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. 
If so... Hmm... 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 You... Hey, don't think for so long. If... If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way she we'd be able to fight that out so easily. Hmm... <laughs> oh, yeah, I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Hmm... I'm heading over there. <laughs> what the heck? She ran away all of a sudden. She said the conference room. Why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? To check it. Also, I might be just... I might just be overthinking, but... Did she seem a little upset? Well, yeah, dude. Two of her friends are dead. Keep up. The paper on the bullet board apparently is a hospital notice. Hospital precautions. Eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied overnight, stays by not patients are not are expressly forbidden. And he, apparently the only person who can accompany the affected thanks to Monokuma's selfish rule. Oh, only one person. Okay, well that was useful. I didn't mean to click on mm. you. Okay, let's... Hello, Akane. Now then. Yeah, I'm finally just getting back to my normal self. All right. Hajime, help me with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. What? No, no thanks. I'm busy. Uh, she was, she was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling the after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey! Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... <laughs> hospital gowns are pretty comfy. I was thinking we might, be, well, keep wearing one. Don't tell me you have... Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. Hmm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked like there was one gown for each patient's room, so I think there'd be more in... So I thought there'd be more in empty rooms. There weren't any gowns? Yeah, yeah that's right. Ibuki died wearing one, so only one is left, and, and so the only one left is the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice, then I should just use Nagito's. It's a unisex size, so, it, so it, uh, I'll probably be able to fit in it. What happened to yours? Hold on, oh. Well, shit. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Huh? Are you saying I should wear the one I already wore? That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else was wearing is even grosser. Like? No time to dilly-dally. I totally left Mekon back at the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay since I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. Uh, okay. Stairs! Ooh. I don't think I've ever been up here. Staff room, conference room. I love when rooms are so very clearly labeled. What's this? It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Oh, wait, there it is. Great, now I can play Smash Bros. Or Pokemon Scarlet. That just came out. Hey. Don't turn it on. Huh? Chiaki, are you there? Cuz. Okay, turn on the light. It's gonna be fully exposed. It'd be embarrassing. Let's fully explode. Hey. Explosed. Exposed. Hey, Hajime. If you poke out your eyes, you can turn out the light. Or you can turn on the light. What are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to poke them out? I'm not going to poke out my eyes. Aww. Oh, bummer. Troll face. <laughs> Fucking. I love Chiaki, man. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard the dry sound of curtains being drawn. There's a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until they started adjusting to the light. Then I saw Chiaki had finished opening that curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? I got it. You got what? It. Oh, okay. The curtains in this conference room are designed to completely block out light. Hmm. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about light shining through. See? See? A black curtain that blocks light, and it's also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking curtain. That's why it was so dark. So, is something wrong with it? Hmm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Oh, look at her. She's adorable. Yep, she's upset. 
But still, what was that all about? Better about being embarrassing if I look and troll face. Nope. I just wanted to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. Why is she acting so childish? I mean, isn't that the way she's been acting? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. Alright, I guess we're... As far as we don't have to check out the patient's room, you'd think that would be something we need to look at, but alright. Guess we can leave. What the hell? Looks like this is open room. There should be anybody inside. I should look somewhere. Okay. I was just making sure. You know, one of the victims used to be staying there for a little bit. Alright, where's. What? Where's the loop? No, my pet's still fine. Alright, well, what's next? The theater. Welcome to the theater. Oh, I love theaters. Hello Hi. there. Hi. Hello there, Hajime. I knew you'd come here. That means you notice it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used that movie as their theme. I wouldn't know. I haven't watched the movie yet. I see. I see. You should really watch this movie first. Hey! Hey, manager. A customer's here. Did you call me? Yes. Did you call me? Wah wah? Ah, how do you make the customer? D do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? And you said you didn't want to watch it. But I knew you wanted to see it all along. If that's what Sunray Hajime looks like, then you're really a tough guy. <laughs> You were so devoted to being Sunray, you even bought a Monokuma sticker for one and a half million dollars! Huh? Yep, I'm in pay- I'm- I'm- I'm in debt. Uh, you paid a hundred- uh, one point five million dollars for a sticker? It, it's nothing. Listen up! I'm in a lot of student debt right now, alright? Shut up! In exchange for not- or in exchange for not watching this movie, Hajime point paid one point five million dollars for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop it! I'm a bailist! <laughs> that my resistance was abandoned, Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker. See this one? I'm sorry, I was born stupid! That's... You, you bought this for 1.5 million dollars? I thought I was a fucking psychopath. <laughs> oh, 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 but in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about that anymore? Just hurry up and give me an invitation ticket. Here! Okay, here you go. It already says on the invitation ticket, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give one ticket per person. You only have one chance to watch it for free. I already stamped today's date onto the ticket, so you'll be able to cheat. Wait, what was the date? I guess I can't go back to see. Damn it. Don't worry, I only plan to watch it once. Look forward to it, okay? Oh, yeah, the protection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Hey. Oh, Hajime, how about that invitation ticket? I strongly recommend you keep that safe. Oh, why? No reason. Just think of it as a protective charm when I try to kill you later. Um. 4 a.m. 13, I think. 13th. One? Instead of one or ten? I don't know where the date ends and the time starts. It either says the 13th at 10.04, or the 13th at 10.10. Uh, I don't know. Guess I should just wait until the Monokuma f or until the Mon until Monokuma finishes his preparations! Alright. That reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. Oh, the bag. This one looks like a tote bag made of hemp cloth, with a decal of Monomi's face on it. How did that catch your eye? It's an all-purpose tote bag, useful for a variety of common tasks. It's a limited time item. Only one person can have it. 
If the tote bag is gone, that means... What's this? Oh, there. Were you interested in buying that tote bag? Too bad. Well, that's just too bad. It's already sold out. Who just sell it to you? They're going to be like, sorry, can't tell you that. Customer confidentiality. You're so stupid. Stupid. There's no way I'd fall for that. There's no way I'd say something that reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Shocking. Oh, shit. I, I remember you said there was only one because it's a limited <laughs> item, right? Hmm. Um, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. I mean, yeah, I guess we could <laughs> go take it from the music venue. What's the difference? Hey, um... When you buy one bag, you get another one free. It's a common practice to beat customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. Monokuma's... Uh, have we ever gotten a Monokuma account before? That's kind of well, cool. Well, now. I mean, not, not cool, but... Well... Now then, I should forget that. I carelessly made a slip up of the tongue. Now then. Freudian slip, you know? Looks like the preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. I can't wait. I this can't is exciting. wait. It's exciting. Yeah, excuse me. All right, theater. I gotta stay. Next time on Bang and Rampa 2, Goodbye Despair. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Boom. That fucking sucked.